Well, welcome on my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk on Jesus Christ, the only way to heaven. John chapter 14. I want to turn to John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said here, and Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Jesus Christ is the only way to have eternal life. The Bible says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Eternal life of the soul is just is only in Jesus Christ you see folks uh, when someone die their body returned to the ground but their soul will go before the Lord for judgment in the book of Hebrews 9 27 say and as it is appointed unto man once to die but after this is the judgment. And after that, your soul will go to the Lord for judgment to God Almighty. And I believe the Lord will ask, what or why should I allow you into heaven? Many people might say, well, I did some good works. But may I say our good works cannot take us to heaven because the Bible say in uh, Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us for by grace are you saved through faith and it is not as of yourself it is the goodness of God May I say our own good works cannot take us to heaven. Only the shed blood of Jesus Christ uh, that he was shed. You see, his blood was holy. He was the son of God. And he is a, a symbolic of the lamb. And he is a lamb that take away the sins of the world. And uh, he had to take that blood and sprinkle it on the mercy seat in heaven in order for folks to get saved. And now to get saved is to look to Jesus Christ, is to repent from your way and turn to Jesus Christ, acknowledging that you cannot save yourself, but you need a Savior. Um, in the book of Acts chapter 4, um, I will turn there, Acts 4, and uh, verse 12, the Bible says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. Let me tell you folks, in no book, no religion, there is no other name given how we must get saved, but only in Jesus Christ. You ask the question, how can I get saved? How can I get saved? You have to turn from what you was trusting in. And put all your trust in Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, Romans chapter 3. And uh, verses 10. The Bible say. As it is written there is none righteous. No not one. So there. That scripture tell us in Romans 3.10. There is none righteous. No not one. What does that mean? It means that everyone. On this in this world born as a sinner born as a sinner uh, why do we sin why do people sin It's because a sinful nature is within them even David said in Psalms uh, 51 and verse 5 behold I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me all right so the Bible says, for God so loved the world, in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever 
uh, believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So we are a sinner by birth, and then we are a sinner by choice. You see, what make what is sin? Sin is anything you think, you say, or you do to displease God. So, have you ever sinned at least one time, one time in your life? Yes. And how many times you have to sin to be a sinner? You just have to sin one time to be a sinner, okay? How many times a thief have to thief to become a thief? Well, you have to just thief one time, and he's a thief, right? So we born as a sinner, and God is compassionate to us, and He want to save you today out there. And uh, I pray that you'll accept the Lord at the end of this video. So the scripture said we are sinner by birth, but we are sinner by choice. Romans ten, uh, Romans three twenty three for for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. What is coming short of God's glory? Coming short of His glory is mean that we have a short life here. In the beginning, when God created mankind. He created them to live forever and ever. But because of sin, man's life is shortened today. All right? And then uh, here we want to see in, in Romans 5, 12, it says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. So, we are a sinner because it was passed down from Adam's, from Adam, amen, from Adam. Because Adam's sin, uh, sin entered into the world and so on. And, uh, but the Bible saying in, in, in Romans 6, uh, Romans chapter 6, here on verses 23. For the wages of sin is death. You see, the payment of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So the payment of sin is death. And this death means separation from God. You see, there's two deaths for mankind. There's the death, the physical death. And then there's a spiritual death. You see, when man, mankind die. The soul live on forever. All right. The soul don't die. Just the, the body died. But the soul gone to the Lord for judgment. And Revelation. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. Um, Revelation 21 and verse 8 say. But the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So in Revelation 21, 8, speak about the second death, and that is speaking about the soul. But get, guess what? In saying all of that, God is compassionate. God want to give you a chance to repent and turn to him and get saved. Get saved. God want to give you a chance to accept him. For eternal life is a free gift. But it caused the Lord to go on the cross. You see the Bible saying in Romans 5. And uh, verse 8. But God commanded his love. God proved his love. God commanded his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. You see friends. As you watch this video today, I plead with you to turn to Jesus Christ because there is no other way to get eternal life but only in Jesus Christ. So it's here in, in Romans 5, 8. But God commanded, God proved his love to, toward us and that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. You see, you don't have to turn, become righteous to get saved. You have to turn to Jesus Christ to get saved and then you start live a righteous life because of appreciation of what the Lord Jesus Christ did for you. He saved you. So first we see you are a sinner by birth. You are a sinner by choice. Sinner 
will go to hell uh, in eternity. There is no way out of hell. Once you get in hell, there is no way out of hell. Uh, but in saying all of that, God proved his love toward us. You know, God proved his love toward us in sending his son, Jesus Christ, to shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary so you can have eternal life and so forth. And then uh, <clears throat> I will turn to him. Uh, he said, what should I do to get saved? Very simply, simple. Uh, uh, Romans uh, chapter 10, uh, verses 9, it say, if that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, God shall believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with a heart man believeth unto righteousness, but with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. So, what should I to do to get saved? Hey, you must acknowledge that you are a sinner, and that sinners will go to hell for all eternity. And turn to Jesus Christ and uh, believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Turn to him. One more scripture. It say here in Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then it goes on to say, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in, in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher and how shall a preacher accept they be sent and so forth so what should i do to get saved you need to turn to jesus christ and, and repent of your sin turn to him accept him as savior eternal life as a free gift and turn to him now do you want to get saved today do you want to go to heaven you know after this physical body died do you, do you want your soul to go to heaven? If you will say yes, all you have to do, the Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In Romans 10, 13. So, why not bow your head and turn to Jesus Christ? And I want to help you pray today. Why not repeat this prayer in your heart and say, you can say, Lord Jesus I'm sorry for my sin. I realize that I'm a sinner. And sinners will go to hell if they do not turn to Jesus Christ. Today, I am asking you, Lord Jesus Christ, to forgive me from all of my sins. Come into my heart and save me and give me eternal life. That when I die, heaven will be my home. I thank you for saving me. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Well, did you say that prayer? You just get born again. You said, what should I do? Well, I'd like to invite you to my church, New Testament Baptist Church. My recommendation is to get into a good Baptist church wherever you are, you know and start following the Lord. Tell the pastor that you got saved. Tell him that you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior. Listen folks, I'm 38 years old. When I was 17, I got saved. I said the same prayer. I was nothing. I was a sinner on my way to hell. And I accept the Lord as my Savior. And the Lord, I know for sure, He came into my heart and saved me. And I find a good church, Bible Baptist Church. And I went to church and today I'm a preacher of the gospel. Now, God can change your life. God can help you. But if you just accept that, the Lord through that prayer, you need to find yourself in a good Baptist church. And start serving the Lord. Because the Lord have a lot of blessings for you. But you have to serve him. You have to live for him. Accepting the Lord will take you to heaven. But to get rewards. Also you need to serve him. Live for him. Let me know if you accept the Lord. 
subscribe to this video, share this video, give a thumbs up to this video. And if you like to support us, the link is below where you can support us financially so we can continue preaching the gospel. May the Lord bless you.